ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Elliot uh, uh, got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what, sip and walk. What up, it's John Shaboy, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. I'm going to be showing off a track and also customizing the ultimate Supercross setup. Now, I know Supercross is actually about to be dying off here. We're going to be going to motocross, but personally for me, I think Supercross is still going to be something I want to ride a lot today and day and age. I mean, I'm more of a Supercross guy than a motocross guy, but I think if... If you guys enjoy this video and how I created, I think I'd be down to do a motocross video like this. But today, yeah, I'm going to be starting for a Supercross setup for the KTM from scratch. I'm just going to ride some laps, see where I can fix it. And then, um, yeah, hopefully you guys take this setup and use it and enjoy it. But uh, we're going to get down here. This is created by my boy Panda, and I believe Baked put something great. This is round five. I'm actually super excited to ride it. So you guys are going to be seeing first, uh, you know, firsthand first looks at this track while we try to create a cool little setup for it. So yeah, let's get down there. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and not necessarily cheat, but I enjoy running a 90 on the front and I enjoy running a 120 on the back. Um, you can really vary from the 120 and 110 uh, how you want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this back pressure about three, two clicks down and then the front pressure down one click. This is personally what I like to do with my bikes. Um, this is something you can copy whether you like it or not. Uh, I'll probably turn down some fuel as well. I don't need 7.2. So we'll go about four liters and then boom, we're just gonna ride from there and see how we feel it, whether we change gearing, whether anything like that. So let's ride out. And as that <laughs> always, I appreciate you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for 22,000 subs. And yeah, wow, just look at this track, dude. I'm trying to see from stock setup, nothing to it. Can I hit that triple? I don't know if I can. I'm gonna have to come back to that. From stock setup, see how much more we have to change the bike. See where I enjoy it. Kind of what gearing I want to put. See how it really handles in the whoops. And I think, I think the biggest thing is handling in the whoops. You know, you can literally have a bike run anywhere smoothly, or at least get around the track. But trying to get through whoops are, is really where it's going to be at. But already off the bat, I can see how bouncy this is. Like it, it's actually getting some pretty good air. So I don't want to keep that for later. I really can't turn the bike, so that's going to be something I got to focus up on. I believe that is a triple to start off with, and if not, you are not doing it again. So come back to that but right now i'm not really seeing anything crazy from the bike i know definitely i'm gonna have to fix some of this turning so that's probably gonna be my my uh swing arm and stuff like that uh, here we go through the whoops wow that front end just wanted to stay up dude holy smokes oh man i looked like i had no suspension on that front end so it was very stiff as well we can try to get a some speed over this big boy supercross triple so i'm definitely gonna have to change the uh definitely gonna have to change the gearing on here as well. I think it's what Matt defaults what 1351 or something like that. Oh, whoops, weren't that bad. Uh, I feel like I don't really stay on top of them, so we'll see in suspension how we're feeling that. Huge shout out to Gun for this amazing uh, Monster Energy can uh, paint. This is absolutely beautiful, dude. And I gotta say, man, you did absolutely wonders on this track, dude. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we do have our first ever split section. Uh, Supercross race is going to be absolutely beautiful. So, you know, you have a start straight from over here and on the other side. I think that's going to be absolutely amazing. Really get connect into it. I mean, I honestly just think the bike is stiff. Like, that's it. Like, I don't think the bike's terrible, like, at all. I just think it's literally just kind of stiff, and I got to loosen it up just a bit. I'm having a little bit of trouble, plus that gearing. So, I'm not even going to finish the rest of this lap. I already know what I need to do. I'm going to go to suspension, and right now... Mm, maybe I'm gonna go up like two clicks see how I can go up two clicks on that front just so I can get a little bit more bounce bump maybe down maybe down to I'll leave that but for sure this this uh drivetrain I want a little bit more speed torque so I'm gonna run a 1350 I'm gonna run a 1350 here I need to turn the bike I need to turn the bike this swing arm's got to go up dude I feel like the swing is gonna go like seven and then I feel like I had like no bounce or I was just I don't know Maybe turn this down like to here. Let's see how this looks and maybe go like 24. Let's save that. And also my mapping. So it looks like I'm on white standard. I'm going to go automatically to aggressive. And I think that would be good. So let's get back on the track. All right, back on the track. Let me go and turn my speed on. There you go. Sorry about that. So back on the track. This isn't too bad. Let's see how the bouncing and, and the, the 
breaking bumps and all that's gonna head oh, oh. all right that was on me <laughs> my bad you know actually calculate it i'm supposed to come up here anyway to get to the finish line we'll see how this goes Ooh, this track's amazing i'm glad to kind of do like two birds in one stone i don't really do track reviews but i had to do a track review on this one man this is absolutely beautiful i feel like i'm starting to get some actual good power now into the bike third gear is going to be kind of the mode there we go. That's kind of beautiful. So 1350 is going to probably be my ideal, my go-to right now. Uh, I feel like I definitely still need to fix up on the suspension. It doesn't feel terrible, and I think it's just really trying to figure out the whoops, which that felt pretty okay. That felt pretty okay. Probably should have dropped down a second. Go over the little wall jump. Man, dude. Kind of bummer that, you know, we're literally at round 17, though. That's the hugest thing. Bike doesn't feel bad though. Okay, that second whoop section. So I think more spaced out whoops. That's where we gotta really work on. I think the first first set of whoops are kind of like a high and drive like spot, but that right there was a little bit too hard to kind of get down on. So we're definitely gonna have to touch up, maybe change some rod length, maybe definitely touch up on our suspension again. See how it looks through the sand this time. Kind of like here, it's over. I think in general, this KTM is just meant for Supercross this year. I mean, it's amazing. The OEM team done such wonders for it. But it feels planted for sure. I think we can touch up on a little bit more spots. Ooh. See how it looks like to get some drive. Oh, man, I actually should have scrubbed a little bit more. Just scrubbed a little bit more so I could have went double, triple over, and then tripled out. That would have been nice. Let's see what a scrub looks like here. That's some beautiful drive. It felt a little luggish, I mean, when we had a, you know, regular standard, so now aggressive looks a little great. So that's not bad. That felt not too bad. I still feel like there's a lot of pop in this bike, and I you want the pop, obviously, but you don't want it to be bouncy. So go back into the drawing board. Let's see if we can change this fork height. I'm going to go zero. I'm going to see what zero does. I'm going to go 25, and I'm going to rod length maybe like, mm, I don't want to go fully up. I don't want to go fully up because rod length, if you go full, fully on rod length, it kind of gets you weird through the whoop. So I'm going to go down down a click. Let's go 7, 154, 0, 25. We're good on there. Mm, I feel like the bump, I need a little bit more bump, like to compress. Rebrown. Let's go up. Let's go up like 18, 19. Let's see what that goes. Preload. Maybe like 8. Oil. I definitely don't want my oil that high. Maybe go 100. And then definitely turn the spring on the backside up. We'll see what that looks like. We'll see how that goes. Let's go back out there. And I know I said I was going to come out with a little vlog about me going to Denver Supercross. I just kind of have never gotten to it. And honestly, I just kind of enjoyed it more than anything, kind of being there with the family. That was kind of the hugest thing for me. Okay, now I feel like I'm not getting any pops. So I'm going to have to see what's up with that. Maybe I just wasn't going through the rhythm correctly but yeah man i felt like i definitely had more fun just kind of chilling with family i didn't really do a lot of vlogging stuff i kind of just recorded like here and there so it would be me just riding the denver supercross track in the game and then kind of like showing click like you know little snippets of what i've got but um yeah still feel the pop now okay uh, a little bit lower we're definitely getting lower to the ground which might be good because you don't want to stay too high in the air especially if you're trying to scrub that was a little hard to try to get that triple, though. There we go. Moment of truth coming up to the whoops. I do like this freaking 1350, though. That's better. I like that. I mean, that's not bad. I felt like I was low-key blissing them, though. The, the other one felt really slow through. That time, I felt like I was able to compress. Oh, I forgot that was a freaking wall jump. Last time, I felt like it was just compressing the... Uh, where, like, I wasn't really getting any, like, drive. I kind of was just, like, on top of them. Holy smokes, holy smokes. All right, just a little still bouncy. A little too bouncy for my liking. Oh! Okay, that's chalked. Let's go back into the drawing board. I didn't like this go around. I did not like this go around at all. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe a little bit more rebound? I don't know. Let's try that. Maybe a 10. Let's go up oil. I don't know. I'm kind of at this point. I'm just trying to test and see. Let's go a little bit higher to 48. Mm, this is right here. This might be my craziest thing, the fast bump. Uh, let's go like three and a half. Let's go like three and a half. Uh, preload. Rebound. 
you know, we're going back. We'll come back. We'll see how the bike's feeling on this. We'll see. We'll see how the bike's feeling on that, and then we'll try that. <laughs> we'll try after that. Should have set a freaking. Uh, Should have set a marker over here. That way, I could have just gone over the finish line every time. But should be good. Huge shout out to freaking Panda though. This track is absolutely beautiful. This track is not out yet, but this will be round five for next week. Oh, we did do round four this week, which was absolutely amazing. Cool little turnout. We had like 96 signups. Only like 48 people confirmed. I think we were able to get a little bit people, but it was pretty fun. I think we had a lot of like timing gate issues. So we're gonna be looking into that to make sure timing gates are okay for this track. But yeah, man, this, this is beautiful. I mean, the environment's absolutely cakewalk, dude. Definitely an OJ for me. So we definitely have a lot more pop and jump on this bike. All right. This right here is what's killing me, dude. Why can I not make this triple? Like, I was actually making the triple before I changed a lot of things. Let's see if, I, see if I'm just not, like, sending it. Maybe that's just on me. Maybe I'm not sending it. There we go. I'm just literally not sending it. I'm such a pleb. Let's go triple, triple. Me, like, OJing everything. Okay. So now you're, now you're a rider air instead of bike air. So that's me trying to figure out where I kind of sit with the bike now. Especially with all the changes, especially like all the drastic changes I'm making. It's kind of just understanding where's like what's going on. Okay, that felt like I was more on top of the bike. That felt like I was more on top of the bike and on top of the whoops. That felt pretty beautiful. Let's not remember it. Let's remember this is a freaking wall jump. And this is so amazing. Ooh, nice big triple. Gonna have to make sure we scrub that a little bit more next time. Floating like a butterfly right here. Let's go third gear. Oh, we're definitely staying on top, but still a little froggy. Definitely staying on top, but still a little froggy. But that's a little bit better. That felt a little bit better. We're gonna have to see where we can get stay on top of those whoops, because they're gonna probably be a life changer, especially trying to do that little spot. What it looks like in the sand. I feel like it's gonna be okay. Oh wow, I feel like you can jump completely over that. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you can jump over that. I'm gonna try that next time. It's not too bad though. This isn't too bad. It didn't feel bad. I think there's some spots I can actually still work up on. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's see where we are. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Just like, you know, seeing my thought process on like how I really work it out. Like I'm no full mechanic, but like over time I've seen other people's setups that they sent me and I've seen like, okay, what really works? What's like different? I'm going to go like preload zero. Since I have like since I have like a fork height zero, I'm going to go preload zero and maybe bump this up to like 20. I don't know. We're going to kick it. And then fast bump, we can go like four. I don't know. Dude. I feel like this is going to work. I feel like it's going to work. Let's give this one a go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't want to move this back up to 156. So let's save this and let's see how we feel maybe. See how we feel. Oh, okay. Right off the bat, I don't like it. Now I was playing. <laughs> Yo, all right. Too easy, man. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, and definitely hit that like button, bro. I appreciate y'all. I'm very curious on how Outdoors is going to go, though. Um, it's coming right around the corner. Uh, I really want to do it. I just think my Supercross skills are a little bit better at the moment, other than my, you know, Motocross. I just, I feel like I haven't been really training for Supercross at all. I know you can double that. Dang. I feel like the front end's feeling a little weird. Okay, that's a little bit better. Wow. Wow. I'm actually floating. Hold up. Wait a second. I wonder what it was. I wonder if it was the four to the three and a half to a four. I wonder if it was a zero rebound or preload. I don't even know, but bike's feeling a little bit better now. Hold up. Bike, bike's feeling a little bit better. That felt pretty darn good. Yeah, no, I, I hope that if, you know, if you guys enjoy how I set this bike up, I hope you guys take it, stick to the end of the video, and try it out yourselves, man. Let me know. Oh, that felt cool. <laughs> that felt good, dude. Hold up. So, like I said, man, I kind of just go based off of, like, what I've seen from other mechanics and trying to see, like, where I go for my own stuff, you know? I do have a pretty okay setup that I have on my channel, but I feel like I've been searching. Like, I, I, don't, I don't say I would suck, but I want to create something to where it's, like, me, you know? I want to create some... No, you cannot jump over that. So you definitely want to jump into that divot. Oh, gosh. Definitely want to jump into that divot and go over the single. But, yeah, I definitely want to uh, create something of my own to where it's like, yo, you know what? I came out with something A-OK, -okay, you know? I came out with something A-OK. -okay. No, no, no. Let's see what this is. It's gonna. This is going to be like the huge... Huge stop right there. Scrub. And then triple out. That felt great. We've finally been able to make that freaking happen. Finally been able to make that work. 
That's beautiful. I don't know. Doesn't feel too bad. Scrubberoo. Yeah, this doesn't feel too bad. I feel like it could be a little bit more work, but let's see. Let's see. Maybe we try pre maybe we try preload instead of zero. Probably get more value, maybe going up to like a go up to like a three. Go up to a three and maybe go back down to a three and a half. And then we could probably put this front spring maybe up to. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see how that works. I feel like I'm I'm almost satisfied. I'm almost satisfied with my freaking care, bro. Nice. Okay, not bad. I feel like I'm low-key a little bit more planted with that front spring, though. I don't know how that makes any sense, but... I don't know what's going to make you more bouncy down or up, but... I feel like it's more stiff. I feel like it's more stiff going up, maybe, and more bouncy when you go lower. Could be a possibility, I don't know. Here we go. Alright, let's get a good little lap in. Thank you guys so much. I support. I feel like I'm just like low-key beating a dead horse with that one, but wow, that actually felt great. Jump all the way over. I'm gonna go down the second, cut down. I feel like that's a 450 line on the outside. Triple in. Ah, oh, that's on me. I didn't I didn't fully make it through. Definitely chalked that second one. Okay. Kind of scared. I haven't seen any front tucks yet. I haven't seen any front tucks, but maybe I haven't pushed hard enough, or maybe it's just like maybe the turns aren't that bad in this in this uh, round to see. I mean, I feel like I am only creating the setup on one track, but I feel like it might be universal. But I hope you guys give it a go. Let me know if you changed anything, if you made it like obsolete. I mean, not obsolete, but if you guys made it perfect to where it's like, hey, you know, I tweaked this and this is gonna be even better. So, Let's see what these whoops look like. Oh my god, I felt too stiff. Okay, that that's like too stiff. You see how the bikes is kind of like not moving, and I'm like really relying on the back end. That was a little bit too stiff for my liking for the front. So we might have to change that back up. I don't know. That felt a little weird. Maybe it was just the way I entered, but holy smokes. Beautiful. There we go. Yo. Yeah, definitely want to cut into... Yeah, you want to make try to jump into that little spot. Here we go. Scrubberoo. Oh, nice. I mean, it's just, I think it feels really stiff. I feel like I have it very stiff right now because it's very planted, and that's probably why it feels like that through the whoops. So maybe it was just the way I ran through it, but I'm definitely going to switch up. I'm just going to switch up. I might go back down to a 5.0. I might go down to a 5.0 for this front spring. Maybe give it a little bit more bounce. You know, a little bit more, a little bit more plushy bounce to it. And maybe I'm completely off. Maybe, like, I'm not even, like, whatever I'm saying right now doesn't make any sense, but... Try it. Let's go back to it. Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna go back down to two, five point oh. Um maybe three 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 fours. I don't know. We'll try that. We'll see how we feel. See how we feel on that one. See how we feel on this one. Yo. Not bad. Alright, let's bounce up here. Easy peasy. It definitely feels planted though, to where it's like I'm not bouncing at all. Like that right there, if I probably would have had like a worse setup on it, it probably would have bounced me into the sky. But now we're having a lot of pop on some stuff. And now I didn't make that. I want to go back. I want to make sure that was me and that wasn't the, that like that was right air. Like I feel like that was definitely right air. I want to make sure because like I'm tired of changing, but I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm close to where I want to be, but I want to make sure if I actually gave it the oomph. Yeah, there we go. If I gave it the oomph, third gear. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, literally on me, dude. Guys. Give the give it the give it the freaking juice ruski. Give it the freaking juice ruski, bro. Gosh, man. Also, don't do this to yourself. No second guess. Wow. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I'm not changing anything else. <laughs> not changing anything else. That felt pretty great, dude. I mean, obviously, granted, those whoops aren't as hard as these ones. Let's see this one. If I get a really great r r run to the whoops, I'm not changing. If I get a great run, I'm not changing anything else. Yep, it's over. Guys, this is the setup. <laughs> this is the setup, dude. Oh, my God. Guys, I will go ahead and show it completely at the end. Make sure you guys freaking check that out. Give it a go for the KTM. I do apologize. I feel like I came out with this idea or thought about this idea too late. But I'm definitely going to do this idea for every... I'm going to try to for every bike for motocross coming out. So, once again, this is a KTM 250. Um, 
I really enjoy the setup that I just made for you guys. This is kind of it. So the ultimate, I feel like I'm going to make this a series, just creating the ultimate Supercross or creating the ultimate Motocross. It's right there. That way you guys can see, like, it's not, I'm not fibbing, bro. Like, I'm literally creating this, and I'm not giving you guys, like, a half, halfsy. Like, you guys literally saw me create it from scratch. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's see what the sand looks like. And I thank you guys for clicking on this video, man. It's been going for, what, like, almost 20 minutes, dude? I feel like it's a good spot. 20 minutes, right about almost 10 laps, because we're on lap, we're trying to go for lap 9. I mean, it shouldn't take you forever to try to get it dialed in, but if you have a sense of where you need to be at, I think you'll be just fine. So, also, this is Kelso Cup Round 5. Huge shout-out to Panda. It's absolutely gorgeous. Huge shout-out to Baked. Huge shout-out to Stratos, all my boys. I appreciate you guys for literally making this dream come true. And, um, yeah, we're going to keep grinding. Thank you for 22,000 freaking subs, man. So, let's keep going. It's your boy. Let's go one more time through the whoops just so it's secured. Uh... Uh, yes, sir. All right, let's uh, go back to the drawing board and let's show off the full setup. There you have it. This is what we're running 4.1 liters, a 90 in the front. I just feel like the 90 gets you through the whoops better. 120, you can try, you can change between the 120, 110, depending on what you want. Just depends on traction. I think a 110 is better for if you want a like a start on Supercross, but 120 for a late game if you know you're not going to get the start. 82, I only went down one click. Uh, rear, I went down like three clicks or so. That's not bad. Uh, front leverage, or leverage. I am probably might go back to 20. I didn't even change that. I didn't even think about that. And then 240 for the rear disc. That might be good. I don't know. I didn't I didn't have any problems not running it. But we'll go back up. That's kind of my preferred. I totally forgot about it. Um, spring, 5.0, 15 for bump, 25 rebound, preload, 10, 105 for oil. I feel like that's pretty okay, right? Uh, let's go 48, 15, 3, 3, 4, uh, 20 rebound, preload, 3. Drive train 1350. Uh, this may vary. It depends on how, what kind of rider you are, but I think 1350 gives me a lot. This 97 kilometers. I don't know what it is in miles per hour right now, but I think right here, if you can stay high second, get into third, you're kind of cooking around the track. Then off fork offset 25, fork height zero. I don't. The reason why I did fork height zero um, is because if I do this seat bounce technique inside the whoops, it keeps me low in the whoops and it keeps me under the whoops, which allows me to drive through. So that's why I went for kite zero. It's kind of something I've, I've picked up from uh shout out to the boys and blaze. Um, shout out to a couple people that's made me some setups. I just start to realize the lower you put in four kite, the lower you stay in the whoops. So that's a huge like plus. If you guys didn't know swing arm, I want to be able to turn the bike. It's the only reason why I keep it around a six or seven. I just want to be able to turn the bike truthfully. Um, it's very hard to try to find a good motive to where if you put too low, you can't turn the bike, put too high, you can't turn the bikes. And then rod length through the whoops at a 156, it kind of bumps that like that back in, just keeps kicking up a little bit. So I think 154 is a good spot, especially with aggressive with a 1350. If you, I promise you, if you change this to a 156 and go 1350 here and like maybe 1450, you're gonna see a huge difference between the whoops and what gear. Um, and I run at least third gear to fourth gear in whoops, just depending. But yeah, man, that's us, bro. I hopefully you guys appreciate that this amazing freaking setup uh, that I gave you. Um, let me know if you guys can tweak it, made it better, made it worse. I don't know, or if this was just a complete trash thing and it was a fib. But yeah, try it out on Ariel. Ariel, um, I will be running it in my stream just to show you guys that I got, I'm not fibbing. So <laughs> too easy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy Friday as well. And um, yeah, it's your boy Abby S. Kelso. Hit that sub button, like button. Pop, 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 pop,